Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1130. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. This is a very unique time in history. I've been in the financial industry for longer than I want to say. But what you need to know is that I, in all of my investment time and career, I have never seen a better time for creating financial freedom and amazing amounts of wealth as I have today. Some people have gotten a little bit annoyed with me because I'm so positive on cryptocurrency. But what you need to understand is that this is a unique time in history. This is something incredibly special. And what you're not hearing on the news, I put in this book, because they're not telling you how wealthy people are getting by owning cryptocurrency. Oh, sure, we've heard about Bitcoin, and we've heard lots of people have gotten wealthy with Bitcoin, but many people missed the boat and didn't buy it. And in fact, I didn't buy it intentionally for good reasons. And I talk about that in the book. But that doesn't mean that you've missed the boat at all. In fact, just the opposite. We are so early in this technological revolution I call the quantum age that is going to create so much wealth. Every time we have a huge technological step up, massive wealth is created. And it's no coincidence that the man who brought us electric vehicles and is taking us to outer space happens to be the richest man on the planet right now, Elon Musk, of course. That's because new technology creates more wealth and cryptocurrency is one of those technologies that is coming in along with NFTs and yes, eventually the metaverse, which I don't talk about in this book, but I guess I'll have to write another book and talk about that because things are happening and changing so fast that I had to write this book and get it to you as quickly as I could before it got outdated. Because if you haven't bought a cryptocurrency yet, there's definitely still time. In fact, I think we have about five years before we get to a bubble situation, which is not what the news is telling you. But in my book, I talk about all of the signs of a bubble because I've been through many of them. And right now we do not have all of the signs of the bubble. In fact, less than 15% of people have invested in cryptocurrencies. How can that possibly be a bubble? That's an obvious marker that tells us this is not a bubble. A bubble is when everybody's buying it and everybody's in and there's no one left to buy. Remember the story about the shoeshine boy owned stocks and gave the stock tip to Joe Kennedy and that's when he went and sold all of his stocks because everybody was in and owned stocks at the time before the 1929 crash? Well, we are not anywhere near that point. We are so early that you have, in my opinion, a five-year head start on most people most high net worth individuals, most Wall Street institutions, because even in the high net worth and even in hedge funds and among the elite investors, only a small amount of them are even in this early. In my book, I'm going to share with you why this is a technological revolution you don't want to miss, why cryptocurrencies are in our future, why they're here to stay. They're not a fad. Sure, there's going to be some that won't survive, but I'm going to lead you to eight that I think are fabulous long-term winners, the next Amazons, if you will, in this whole technological change. So today, I want to share with you from the very beginning of the book what it says, and we'll go through chapter one today, and we'll go through chapter two on Monday. So you can really hear what I'm saying in my own words and why I believe what I do. If you're like me, before you buy a book, you always read the back cover. So I want to share with you my back cover, just like you were picking up a copy of the book and reading the back. 
It says three steps to quantum wealth, the wealth heiress's guide to financial freedom by investing in cryptocurrencies. Linda P. Jones, America's wealth mentor, has written this book in a way that is simple to understand and easy to implement. You will learn how to shave decades off the time it takes for investing success by potentially earning some of the highest compounding rates ever in history. Adding just 5% of cryptocurrency investments to your portfolio can create life-changing wealth. You can reach financial freedom, early retirement, or generate your next millions. Millionaires have already been created out of small investors, some with less than $1,000 invested. You will gain financial confidence while learning why a new technological revolution is creating trillions of dollars of value, which cryptocurrencies will be the dominant technologies that will generate wealth, why this is the best investing opportunity in our lifetimes to create an outsized rate of return, how cryptocurrencies are changing finance, currencies, and banking, and it is only the beginning, how to participate in investments that are normally reserved for people who are already multimillionaires, which digital assets to invest in, how, and why, how to keep and protect the wealth you create. Linda is the host of the Be Wealthy and Smart podcast, which is in the top 1% of podcasts globally with over 7 million downloads. Her first book, You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, Six Practical Steps to Make It a Reality Now, is on the list of all-time best wealth books by Book Authority. All right, so that's the back cover. So now, after the acknowledgement sections, I have a section on how to read this book. And I included this because... It's easy to just dive into a book and maybe sometimes skip around, but I really wanted you to understand the thought behind why I put the book together the way I did and how to make it really work for you. So under how to read this book, it says, this is a book about how to attain financial freedom. As we enter into a technological revolution, you have the option to invest in early stage opportunities that were not accessible by everyday investors before. Within the bigger picture of how wealth is created, you will see that by adding a small investment in cryptocurrencies to your portfolio, it is possible to get a head start on the massive wave of money coming, billions invested by institutions, and possibly benefit from some extraordinarily high compounding rates. It was written in mid-2021, in the midst of a relatively early and evolving time in this new technology. I have included information and some opinions that are relevant to this moment, while anticipating future regulations and laws. The world we are living in is incredibly dynamic, and things are changing daily. So over time, as things evolve, I encourage you to stay updated on new perspectives, technology, and uses for digital assets that emerge in the future. This book was written for multiple audiences across generations and with different knowledge levels. I have divided it into four sections that I recommend reading in order. Each section begins with a quote to set the tone for that section. The first section is about the innovations of the quantum age and why I am so excited about the wealth building the future will bring. The second section is important investing principles that are life-changing. The third section is about three steps to quantum wealth and why your financial freedom is possible faster than ever. The fourth section is about how to maintain your wealth and not lose it. Although the predominant investing vehicle or money engine I'm showing you is cryptocurrency, this is not a book to teach you everything about cryptocurrency. It is an introduction to digital assets meant for everyday investors, many of whom have no idea what is about to happen in fintech. I felt the book would be incomplete if it did not cover additional important information necessary for your wealth building, so you are well prepared and ready for what is about to change your life, whether you invest in it or not. Each chapter begins with a quote by me to capture a key thought in the chapter and ends with a summary called The Bottom Line, as well as questions or exercises to help you use the ideas and concepts, and I call that leap into the quantum age. There are several valuable tools in the back of the book. The additional resources show you how to get more information and stay updated. The keyword glossary, which I hope you refer to often, is to help you understand new terminology the quantum age brings. Enjoy and welcome to the astounding possibilities of wealth building in the quantum age. Section 1. 
You can create wealth with digital assets faster and easier than ever. And the quote is, the financial industry is transforming to a digital economy, and we see digital assets as one of the most significant forces impacting our industry over the next five years. And that was said by Ron O'Hanley, chair and CEO, State Street Corporation, with $40 trillion of assets under custody. Chapter 1, Building Wealth in the Quantum Age. And here's my quote. Digital assets will be the definitive wealth-building technology in the quantum age as much as personal computers, software, and the internet were in the last 39 years. The quantum age is what I call the next technological revolution that humanity is about to experience. It is bigger than just one new technology, like the internet, and much broader in scope. We are about to see a technological leap encompassing transportation, healthcare, energy, technology, communications, and finance. You will recognize it by noticing new inventions such as electric vehicles, robotics, flying cars, high-speed trains, consumer space travel, green energy, virtual reality, genomics, quantum computers, decentralized finance, blockchain, and digital assets, including cryptocurrencies. Some people call this technological age Web 3.0, or the fourth industrial revolution, but it involves much broader advances in technology than just on the web. It is not just an industrial revolution. It is also a financial revolution that some people call financial technology or fintech. As you will see, leaps in technology cause massive wealth creation. My intention is to help you understand what is happening and know how to invest for financial freedom so you can benefit from it instead of missing out or perhaps only realizing the amazing wealth creation happening in hindsight. Technology and Wealth Creation Looking forward and trying to predict the future can be difficult, but we can use our experience in the past to help us. During our lifetimes, massive wealth has been created every time technology takes a leap. Let's review the last 30 years to understand how wealth exploded when computers and the internet came on the scene and these major new technologies created incredible investing opportunities. For example, as an investor, you might have missed the wealth-building significance of IBM inventors Mark Dean and Philip Don Estrange, whose research team invented a computer that IBM released for sale in August of 1981, which rapidly grew to $15 billion in sales. In the next decades, Apple, Hewlett Packard, and Dell, and other tech companies made billions of dollars creating personal computers, or PCs. After starting his laptop business in his college dorm room, Michael Dell made a $40 billion fortune. In 1985, Microsoft introduced a PC operating system and software that eventually made it the most valuable company in the world, minting 12,000 millionaires and three billionaires along the way. New technology creates massive wealth. Researchers introduced the internet in the 1960s and 70s, but it was scientist Tim Berners-Lee who created the World Wide Web protocol in 1989 that enabled email, instant messaging, video chat, discussion forums, social media, and online shopping. In 1994, Amazon created an online shopping website for books, then expanded into other areas and created $1 trillion of wealth in a shopping category that didn't exist before. Along the same line, although small-scale electric cars have been around since the 1800s, it was Elon Musk who created a quantum-age luxury electric vehicle and in 2021 became the wealthiest person on the planet, with $197 billion of net worth and Tesla stock valued at $773 billion. You can see how each time a new category of technology is invented, it is a massive new wealth creation opportunity. Yet, you might not hear about it or consider investing in it until years later. Or you may have missed out on the opportunity altogether and been kicking yourself. Or you have a friend who became rich investing in a new technology, even though they can't find their way out of a paper bag. It's only obvious to the masses in hindsight. While technology booms happen, the press is often downplaying the trend. Yet it is undeniable that massive wealth is created when new technology is invented that advances us to the next level of modernization. 
somewhat quietly, trillions of dollars of new market value in technology companies and cryptocurrencies are underway. But you might have only heard about Bitcoin, which, as you will learn, is not a technology I would invest in. More about that later. New technology, and especially new categories of technology, creates trillions of dollars worth of wealth. Yet even though we might use this technology, we can miss out as investors. How much could your investment portfolio have benefited from technologies you probably use, but might not have known to invest in? If you used AOL, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon, and did not invest in them, it's not your fault. No one told you how big these companies were going to get and how much wealth they would create. If you missed some of these amazing investment opportunities, though, it's not too late because an even better investing opportunity is on the horizon, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Large amounts of money are flowing into cryptocurrencies. Early internet and crypto entrepreneurs, the Winklevoss twins, received money after settling a Facebook lawsuit for $65 million and parlayed it into Bitcoin to become the first crypto billionaires in 2017, and today are worth $3 billion each. In 2021, nine new billionaires who made their wealth in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were added to the Forbes list of billionaires, with another four returning from the previous year. We are starting to hear about large institutions investing in cryptocurrencies. Square, MicroStrategy, and Tesla are putting Bitcoin on their balance sheets. Kathy Wood added cryptos worth $820 million to her ARK Innovation Fund. The nation's oldest bank, BNY Mellon, is building crypto products to invest in. More than 80 central banks are reportedly studying and testing central bank digital currencies. Germany just passed a law that institutional funds, such as pension funds and insurers, currently managing over $2 trillion, can hold up to 20% in cryptocurrencies. But even with all of this happening, the wave of money investing in cryptocurrencies is still in its infancy. Taking advantage of the opportunity. The cryptocurrency market has grown to $2 trillion alone and could be headed to $10 trillion and probably much more in a few years. While this is underway, no one tapped you on the shoulder, took you by the hand and said, pay attention and invest in this. It will create wealth for you. Until now. From the single mother who got divorced and started with almost nothing and was able to grow it into a six-figure nest egg by investing in cryptocurrency, to the young man who lived at home and became a multimillionaire by buying a cryptocurrency on his phone app because Elon Musk tweeted about it, to the teenager who invested her stimmy, her stimulus check, into crypto and made a cool $500,000, the stories are incredible, unlike anything I have ever experienced with investing. Some people seem to be lucky to find wealth. For others, it is very hard. We have all been told we have to work hard and that only through hard work will we succeed. You might think you have to work at a job, put in long hours, and be exhausted to earn a living. If you are financially successful, you can save enough for a down payment on a home and buy a car, but then you have to go to your job every day to pay the mortgage and car loan. You're tied to a job and maybe even to a career for the money so you can pay your bills, take care of yourself and your family, and have a nice life. It may not be work you enjoy doing. Do you have a choice? It doesn't feel like you do. That's why so many people crave financial freedom, so they don't have to go to a job they hate, work for a boss they loathe, and spend their life chained to a reality they don't feel like they chose. However, please understand, if you invest well, it can change all of that and bring you financial freedom. This is not only because you can make a lot of money with cryptocurrencies, but also because fintech is changing the very definition of money and banking. In the future, cryptocurrencies will give you opportunities for multiple streams of passive income, such as the opportunity to be your own bank and earn interest on loans to others. The new technology interest rates you can earn with cryptocurrencies today aren't what you're offered on a savings account in a bank, about 0.5% but rather 4% annual percentage yield. Even earning 10% APY rates are possible today without taking a lot of risk. Although the topic of all the emerging technologies in the quantum age is intriguing, for our purposes, we will focus mostly on cryptocurrencies, virtual currencies that have value and can be exchanged for value, 
decentralized finance, no central bank or financial company in charge, and blockchain, a computerized record of transactions. I have selected these areas because they are easy to invest in, require a small amount of capital, and are compounding at the highest rates I have ever seen as an investor. Let's start by defining cryptocurrency in the context of blockchain and decentralized finance. Quote, a cryptocurrency is a digital currency that works as a medium of exchange on distributed ledger technology, typically a blockchain which gives each transaction a unique and unhackable record. It is nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. It is not centrally controlled like our paper currency is today. It is decentralized and in limited supply where the amount in existence can only be changed by a vote of the holders of the cryptocurrency. It does not exist in physical form, only on computers or phones. It is an enormous change in benefit that cryptocurrencies use decentralized control as opposed to centralized digital currency and central banking systems. And that was from Wikipedia. Closing the Wealth Gap. Consider this the most important book about how to make and keep wealth that you've ever read. I can say that with confidence because I know where we've been and where we're going. We have been living in a world with stock indexes that average about 8% to 10% annually. And now we are going to a world of parabolic growth of new technologies that I believe will grow at much faster rates. This means you will be able to compound your money at higher rates than ever before, dramatically shortening the time it takes to build wealth. If you pay attention, you will learn how to grow what you have into six or seven figures and beyond, and how some people have the opportunity to grow money into eight or nine figures. I will show you it is possible to cut as much as a decade off the time it takes to reach your financial goals. You are about to learn something that only a small handful of high net worth investors who have researched and invested in future technology know. They understand how our world is about to change in the most profound way because we are entering the quantum age. They are not going to tell you exactly how and where to invest to benefit from this knowledge, but I will. The Queen of Compounding Speaks As a wealth mentor and self-proclaimed Queen of Compounding, I identify where compounding rates may be the highest so you know the best places to invest your money. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't invest your money for you. Rather, I show you where you may be able to compound your money at the highest rate for the longest period possible. How do I do that? By identifying trends of high long-term growth rates. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. That would be like buying a lottery ticket and getting rich overnight. No, it's not that quick but I will show you how you may compound your money at potentially higher rates that may grow your wealth and get you to financial freedom faster than your current path. I will show you what and how much to incorporate into a traditional investment portfolio. You will have enough information to be able to manage your money by yourself without paying Wall Street thousands of dollars in fees each year. I will share research with you but it is up to you to decide if it is something that makes sense for you to invest in, given financial circumstances such as the size of your portfolio, age, and risk tolerance. I'm going to show you what I believe are the cryptocurrencies that have the most potential for wealth building. It is up to you to decide what to do with the information. Ultimately, this is about you and your future wealth. My background is more than 25 years in the investing field. I'm not a technology person. I'm a financial person. The way I describe things may not be technically perfect. So to the tech experts out there, please understand that I am trying to explain a complicated subject in lay terms to everyday investors, not to tech experts. This is more about getting the investment angle correct than getting the exact tech angle. I'm trying to simplify a complex subject like computer coding without making readers have to learn how to code. I may speak in generalities and, and skip over something that a tech expert might think is important, but in the grand scheme of investing, may not be. So please allow me some slack if my tech description is not perfect. Rest assured that my investment advice is on point. 
you will learn my formula for three steps to quantum wealth because the potential for wealth building is truly that massive. With cryptocurrencies, the time, or T, in years to invest is dramatically shortened, and the compounding rates, C, are incredibly high, which means you need very little money, M, to invest and possibly create exponential wealth. The amount of money already created by these investments is staggering, and you will learn how not to make the same mistakes as most people who acquire a lot of wealth relatively quickly. That is called sudden wealth syndrome, and it results in 70% of people spending, losing, or otherwise being without all of their newfound wealth in about five years. To make sure that doesn't happen to you, I will give you five steps to maintaining your wealth. Next, I'm going to share more about why cryptocurrencies are like early stage businesses and how our ability to invest in them early is part of the secret to their high compounding rates of return. The bottom line. This is a remarkable time of opportunity where everyday investors can find financial freedom through the innovations of the quantum age. Now is the time to get started early and act upon your knowledge in the tsunami of wealth coming from innovation. Leap into the quantum age. To take your own leap into this exciting era, open your mind to the possibility of earning much higher rates of return on your money. So that's the end of chapter one. On Monday, I will share with you Chapter 2, which is called Digital Assets Will Bring Enormous Wealth. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the book. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.